You've probably heard a lot about the greenhouse effect recently. And the greenhouse effect is a, is a very good thing for the Earth. If it wasn't for the greenhouse effect, we would be on a freezing cold planet. Uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius would be our average temperature. It's these greenhouse gases that keep us warm and allow life to be sustainable on Earth. So the greenhouse effect is basically the ability of the Earth to capture the energy that comes from the sun and prevent it all from just being reflected out to space. Um, if we didn't have these greenhouse gases capturing this energy, we'd be a cold planet like, like um, Mars. But if we have too many greenhouse gases, we become a very, very hot planet like Venus, which has got an average temperature well over 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water. So let's look at how the physics behind the greenhouse effect. So the sun, when the sun is shining on Earth, most of the light coming to Earth is in the form of visible light, right? It, it appears white, but we know it's got all the colors of the rainbow in that spectrum. And the wavelengths there are fairly short, and they can get through all the molecules fairly quickly. Now the sun is very hot, so th these are stronger wavelengths, uh, and they're a little bit shorter, okay? But when, the, when the, that energy is reflected away from the Earth, it's reflected back as longer wavelengths. The Earth is cooler, and it's producing these longer wavelengths out. And those, many of those are in the range of the infrared, what we call heat, or what we feel as heat. So fortunately, we don't lose all that heat energy because we have some gases in here that help capture that heat and make the Earth the right temperature, right? Average temperature about 13 degrees Celsius, which is in the, the mid-50s, a comfortable range. So what are some of those gases? Well, uh, the main gas is actually water vapor. Now this is part of the normal water cycle. We're not producing excess water vapor, or when we do, it condenses and it evaporates. But there are others. Uh, you've probably heard of carbon dioxide which is produced by plants and animals, but it's also produced by burning fossil fuels and putting excess carbon dioxide into the air. Uh, another one is methane and ozone. Again, those are both, oops, ozone, O-Z-O-N-E, ozone. These are produced by humans, what we call anthropogenic gases. And the concern is, as we produce more and more of these greenhouse gases, we're actually going to be capturing too much of this infrared radiation. And ha instead of it leaving the Earth and having the Earth maintain a stable temperature, the Earth's temperature will actually start to increase. And scientists have noted a very small but significant increase in the Earth's average temperature over the last century. So that's what we do to what we call the greenhouse effect.